Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you today. And today's tutorial is going to be about how to add right-click options. Now, this will all be done using Automator. So whatever Automator allows you to do is what you can add as a right-click feature. If Automator doesn't allow it, you won't be able to do it. Automator does offer a lot of useful things, but I'm going to show you guys the two that I think will be most useful. And the first one I'm going to show you guys is how to automatically mail something. So basically, I'll be able to right-click on it, choose mail, enter a subject or a message, and who I'm sending it to, and then it's off. The second one is going to be about how to print something. So I'm basically going to set it up so that it will recognize uh, my, my printer as soon as it's plugged in. I'll just be able to right-click on it, click print, won't even have to open the application, and it will print. So without further ado, let's get started by opening up Automator. And we're going to choose custom. We want a custom workflow. And then we're going to start by clicking in the most left panel. We're going to click files and folders. And then the one that says get selected finder items, we're going to drag that to our workflow area. And then we're going to go into mail. We're going to go into new mail message. And here is where the customizing features comes in. So if I didn't tweak any of this and I just continued on, what would happen is that I would right click on it and well, it would probably get sent to no one because I didn't enter who I'm sending it to, but basically you wouldn't be able to enter in any sort of interesting subject or message or two. So basically to do that, you're just going to have to go to options, click show this action when the workflow runs, and then click the box below that which says show only the selected items. And now all these items have the little box next to them, which everyone I check off will appear when I go to send this. So I definitely want the two to appear so I can send it to whoever I want. And the subject, that's it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna close that by just clicking option again. And then I wanna set an automatic message. So to do that, I'm just gonna click on the little message box and type in this was sent, actually this file was sent via finder auto-mail, period. All right, so now we're going to continue on with our workflow by dragging in mail the one that says send outgoing messages. All right, now here's the part where we turned it into a right-click option. You want to go to file, save as plugin, and you want to name the plugin. I'll name this one Finder Auto Mail. And you want to make sure that it's a plugin for Finder. There are some other, I guess, features that you can choose from, but because we want it to be a right click option, we're going to make it for Finder. And then we're going to click Save. So now, if I were to exit out of this, and just to show you guys, I will right click on this item, go to More. You're going to have to do this for whichever one you do, More, and then under Automator. Right there it is, Finder Auto Mail. I'm going to click on it, and it will take a couple seconds, but see the script's already started, and here's the subject in the two. So I'm going to make the subject brisk ice tea wall paper. And then I'm going to enter a two, and I'll just send it to myself. Click continue, and that's it. It flashes once and it's sent. And then there's the sound. And just to check it, we'll go even go to our inbox. Mm -hmm -hmm. Opening up Gmail. And right here, it's already there. Sent from me, Matt Fisher, already sent. This file was sent, I'll just kind of zoom in. This file was sent via Finder Auto Mail. There is our subject. And there is the file. So there, it worked perfectly. So now I'm going to show you guys the second one, which I said earlier was just to be able to right-click and then click print. So again, back to Automator, custom again, starting with files and folders, get selected finder items, drag that into the workflow, then under Yulies, you're going to want to go to print finder item, and default printer, I'm just going to choose Choose it. Choose the HP Photo Smart, which is a printer that I use. And then again, file, save as plugin. 
Uh, we'll make this one auto print and save. And a quick shout out to Snow Leopard 2008 because he just sent a reply to my comment and the mail appeared. And I was trying to be a little sneaky by clicking it, but you know, I figured I'd give him a shout out. So go check him out. His link will definitely be in the right. So yeah, I saved it. Okay, I can exit out of that. And I can go to Control Click, go to More, Automator, and there it is, Auto Print. Um, I'm not going to click that because my printer is not plugged in because I am currently setting it up with my Airport Express base station. Yeah, just got in the mail today off eBay. Cool, so I'm going to be able to set that up and print wirelessly. Awesome. Back to the tutorial. That's pretty much it for this tutorial, actually. I showed you guys the cool features. Um, Automator, like I said earlier, has a wide variety of stuff. So definitely go check that out. See what customizing features you can do. Um, even make a video response if you feel it's necessary to show how cool the tutorial that you made is. So again, my name is Matt Fisher. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And as always, because I say this in every single video, take care.